is what we call hater shit. There is no better term. Um, you know me. If you know me, you know me. If you know, you know. You know, so... understand that while you're ragging on tech and social and kids in their headphones and on their phone <laughs> I'm sorry all I can see is Xavier and his bike phones and all this shit remember the fit the five rule remember how strong influence affects us all whether we're a child or an adult but especially as a child and then be and then we have to be grateful at some point that social and technology <laughs> offer an outlet for our children and other people to too. escape some of the highly oppressive uh, situations and environments that they are literally stuck in. So, yeah, that's why Instagram just said, shut, shut it. Oh. We keep going back to the principles, the core principles of our parenting skills and belief systems of people blaming, you know, our phones and our children are spending too much time with their faces and their phones and they're not living life how they used to. And we have to also understand that the flip side of that is that for the first time ever, our children don't have to be stuck with a soul influence that's negative. So maybe their parents are involved and God knows what that phone, oh, it connects them, it bridges them. So when our physical environment cannot be changed, we have to change our circle of influence. And the internet and social media, that's the only thing that's giving that, that opportunity. So we have to be grateful. So if you're looking for business advice and you don't have anyone in your immediate family who knows how to do business or who you have access to, social media you allows you to access to. that person, um, you know, and see what they're producing and what kind of information they're sharing with the world in the same sense as we continue to ignore the deficits and the gaps in, in income and in job responsibility and in slavery oh. uh, AI is learning AI is always learning AI is learning from human behavior we need to do better no one should be a slave in 2024 no she didn't and it's just 10 a.m., 23 weeks postpartum. We have a homeless man sleeping on the hospital campus, not being offered any assistance. Should... Go offer him assistance then, biatch. It's crazy. Give everyone a place to live. Housing is health care. 6.23 p.m. Vintage Dooney and Burke. Make me an offer on this Dooney and Burke. It's selling for $200 to $300 brand new. I washed this one and it's got some problem areas. 9.24 p.m. What? <laughs> Look at this vintage Dooney and Burke that I found. Um, it's Man, you found that? Found You found that? I just washed it. Oh, look. And it came out really clean except these. I need to do leather CPR or something. <laughs> oh, this is her life. Are you on the, at the laundromat with your hair curls? Look how cute. I'm so cute. And you got your new little purse that you're trying to sell. <laughs> Breast milk. Oh my gosh. Yeah. How does that bag not work? Look at Xavier. 23 weeks old. He'll be six months old on Monday. I can't even believe that time is flying by so quickly. I am absolutely desperate to be with all four of my children. Um, this is already no situation. So, of course, I'm sitting to some motivational. I 
can barely hear her. And I'm trying to turn it up, but it's the other background. And it's so loud. I feel like she's moving slow. Like, does she not have Adderall or does she take something else or do something else? What's going on with you? Contact this morning that talks about the power of manifesting and making verbal and mental kind of demands that trick yourself into believing that you already have what it is that you want. It's the law of attraction, but it's more practical than that. in a way that's real about where you want to be or should be but making yourself believe that that's where you are and that you already have it. Has anyone actually been successful in that way? Like, it's cold in this train. I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, I'm super in shape, like the best, like, the best. Part of my life when my daughter Alexis was like 13 months old. Between 13 and 15 months of her life, I was like having to compete at PC. No, I would say between like 12 months and like 15 months. Oh my gosh, just say so, year. I'm trying to get back on board with that.
thinking I, I need to start doing more interviewing of other people um, and kind of like for what? less of the personal vlogging um, I have nothing really going on with regards to changes is she wearing that air diffuser? So, <laughs> I think I'm just going to leave that for a while let that sit Look at those glasses, bro. Look like goggles. Start doing like her nose is like. Um, and posting those. Big ass ear pods. I'm getting bored with it all, you know. Like there's not that much payout. Um, very minimal payout. And I feel like they've been making me like fight other people's battles. Um. Which is fine, but as I've said this a number of times, if I if I'm fighting someone else's battle and then that makes me a victim, we're still in the same situation we were before. You know, we have to. You can't be a sacrifice to save someone. You know, that doesn't work because if one person is sacrificed, then it it ripples out to everyone around them. You know whether directly or indirectly. So it has to be, there has to be a way of moving forward and creating positive impact uh, without, oh, <laughs> without causing anyone else detriment. Um, and that's what I've been saying this, this entire time. Um, with regards to the stalking and hacking, it's so lame, it's so tired, it's so exhausted, like get the fuck so over old. yourself. It, it literally is just the <laughs> dumbest, most boring thing that these boring. people do. Um, we're five years in and they just, it's like it went away for like a whole year and all of a sudden like the same users who don't know how to write a storyline are back, you know, copycatting. So sad original, you know what I mean? Like, do something yeah, like to Chanel. contribute and impact this storyline in a way that makes my life better, that makes other people's situations better, and in a way that you would appreciate having done for your own life. I say it all the time. Um, that's what one love means to me. You know, if you what it, what it done to you, don't do it to someone else. And if it's not going to benefit you, um, it's probably not. Like, if you were that person, it's probably not going to benefit them. So, it's pretty simple. Um, we're going to go to see our baby. Oh! Oh, you guys saw. And then, um, up after that. We're at a 7.30 curfew right now. Our Xavier wants to leave there desperately. Um, do you want to tell them about why you want to leave? Oh, yes, please, please, please. Uh, you already know why I want to leave. No, I know, <laughs> but do you want to tell them? He said, you already know why I want to leave. <laughs> you sound like a little boy. <laughs> oh, my goodness gracious. He wants to be on the outside. You know that. He's a wild one. We're at a 7.30 curfew right now. Our uh, Xavier wants to leave there desperately. Um, do you want to tell them about why you want to leave? Uh, you already know why I want to leave. No, I know, but do you want to tell them? <laughs> yeah, because she wants to I'm on the line. You want one of those people to harm me. Did he just say she wants one of those people to harm me? And she said, I'm on a live. Like, the way that she always has to say, I'm on a live, it's like, watch what you say. I'm on a live. She, like, looked like, bitch, are you, I'm going to whoop your ass when we get back to that shelter. I know, but do you want to tell them? Yeah, because she wants I'm on a live. I'm on a live. Do you want one of those people to hurt me? <gasps> Aww. Yeah, what? That's so crazy? Yeah, you're so crazy. See, y'all are both crazy. <laughs> I see you're not wearing your wedding ring and <laughs> your engagement ring. 
Oh my goodness. Xavier's over it. He's pissed. Good for you for standing up, even though I don't like you and you're still a freaking scumbag. Y'all both are piece of crabs. Heather got called out again. So sorry. Is she getting off? Why that? Why is she taking so long to get up and leave? Man, grab your phone and get off the bus. That was that's so rude and so annoying. Here's the hatred and the circumstances that are unrelated that cause difficulty with accomplishing your goals are always going to come. And I'm learning that. Thank you. 